In this world of business plans and focus groups, we didn't use any of it. The Ford Bronco's been out for a couple of years now, and while it's great to see these vehicles in the hands of customers and all the amazing YouTube videos of this offered beast, Bronco buyers just keep getting kicked in the face by the Blue Oval. There have been a lot of Bronco buyers who are very frustrated with the Ford brand and a whole mess of issues regarding the Bronco. Anything from dealer markups to all of these endless recalls. If you've ordered a 2023 Bronco and are waiting patiently to get your delivery, or you've recently received it, then you need to watch this entire video because I have a little bit of bad news. Last year I was looking to buy a Ford Bronco for myself, but ended up going with a used Jeep Wrangler, since every dealer was tagging on ridiculously high markups over MSRP. And oh boy, am I glad I ended up waiting. To this day, some dealers are still adding markups, especially on the first editions and the new Bronco Raptor. But I'm not here to discuss the crazy prices this time. Ford recently revealed some news about the Bronco that has owners furious with the Blue Oval. And the Bronco 6G form has been going crazy with frustrated owners over the past 24 hours due to another huge issue with the Ford Bronco that was just revealed. Since its release, the Bronco has been plagued by quality issues and recalls, and today we just got word from Ford that there's just been another recall affecting thousands of Bronco orders over the past few months. So in this video, I'm going to go over this issue that's caused another recall, what recalls have been released over the past year, and what Ford plans to do to take care of the problem and fix their ever-increasing quality issues. One of the biggest issues Ford had with the first year 2021 Bronco had to do with a 2.7 liter V6 engine. There was a catastrophic defect in a batch of engines that caused it to totally fail, leaving several owners stranded on the side of the road. So what exactly was causing this issue? Turns out an engineering defect caused the valves to become brittle from the heat of combustion, causing total failure and eventually stalling the engine. It actually got so bad that the NHTSA opened up an investigation to get to the bottom of this problem. But tonight, the feds are investigating a potentially serious safety issue in the Ford Bronco. 48 drivers uh, say the SUV's engine has failed while they were driving, and now thousands of other vehicles may have the same problem. I made a turn and it just died without warning, no lights, no indicators or anything. NHTSA is calling it catastrophic engine failure related to a faulty valve within 2.7 liter EcoBoost engines. Kelly's dealer agreed. The phone call said I needed a, a completely new engine. I was just blown away. This was eventually confirmed by Ford and all of the engines were then replaced under warranty. But later in 2022, there was a huge batch of safety recalls. A malfunctioning child safety lock allowed the passenger side rear door to be open from inside the vehicle when the lock was in the on position. Then a small batch of Broncos had a windshield that was not properly bonded to the vehicle, which could allow it to detach during a crash. And finally, an improperly secured side impact sensor was recalled because it could cause the airbags to unintentionally deploy or not to deploy as intended, increasing the risk of injury in a crash. Let's not forget the whole hard top disaster. I don't even think I need to elaborate on that one. And despite all those issues in 2022, it looks like 2023 shows no signs of the recall slowing down. We're now into the start of 2023 and Ford already has another major recall that could cause the Bronco to completely roll away on its own and end up plowing right into your neighbor's house. According to a recent service bulletin, the transmission now has a huge issue and a stop sale order was just released. So here's what's going on with that. In some of the affected vehicles, the transmission could actually contain a loose extra bolt introduced during the transmission assembly process. A loose bolt inside the transmission could actually prevent it from achieving park by blocking the park prowl from engaging into the park gear fully. Although the gear shifter position may indicate that it's fully in park, it's not fully in park and could easily slip right into neutral. Ford states that the loss of the ability to secure the park pole could result in unintended vehicle movement, increasing the risk of a crash or injury. This recall doesn't just affect the Ford Bronco. It will also affect certain 2022 to 2023 model year Explorers, F-150s, Mustangs, and any 2023 Aviator vehicle equipped with the 10-speed automatic transmission. If you're worried about your Bronco having this issue, then you need to check your build date. If your Bronco was built between November 14th of 2022 and January 12th of this year, then you're at risk of your Bronco rolling away at any point. Ford has had a bit of a problem with recalls and overall quality recently. The Maverick was recalled for a side airbag issue, the Mustang was recalled for wiring problems, the Bronco was being invested for engine failure, and in fact, back in September, Ford already had issued over 52 safety recalls in 2022 alone. Unfortunately for Ford, improving their vehicle quality isn't as simple as just flicking a switch. 
Amidst a wave of new car introductions, the quality of Ford Motor Company vehicles has taken a hit, and several popular nameplates have experienced high-profile issues since their debuts. Throughout 2022, Ford CEO Jim Farley has repeatedly stated that fixing quality issues is a top priority. However, based on recent comments from Farley, it seems that the process will be an affair that will last several years. In a recent interview, Farley said, Fixing quality is my number one priority. It is the most important initiative in the whole company, and it's going to take several years. We didn't lose it in just one or two years. Until we fix quality, nothing else matters. That's a very strong statement and also not surprising to hear. Earlier this year, Farley named Josh Halliburton the company's quality czar and vowed to reduce how much money Ford spends on recalls and warranty work. And as you may have guessed based on all the recent recalls, Ford spends a lot of money on those two things. Considering how many vehicles Ford has coming out over the next few years, including the new 2024 Mustang, I hope Farley and Halliburton can really turn things around so we can all feel good about buying a new Ford vehicle again.